Hello, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. So I've actually been grinding right here in this area for fulminated mercury. Just like so, I'm gonna demonstrate for everyone exactly how I've been doing this. Kill him. We're gonna go a little slow right now. I've been going a little bit faster than this. Kill him. No mercury. It's, it's pretty rare. I have the Bell Demon thing active, which increases drop rates. But, uh, yeah, it's still... Uh-oh. Let's hurry up, kill the flamethrower guy. Thank you. All right, now you will fight. We didn't get any. No fulminated mercury. See, so yeah, even with a possession balloon and both of those... Ow. Both of those Senpo skills that uh, increase your drop rates and with the bell demon thing active it's still very rare but we got a bunch not a bunch i think i have like seven of them eight something like that uh so we're before we progress further this way i actually i kind of want to backtrack because i think i skipped a bunch of stuff back in the castle area i just want to make sure uh, so this episode, we're probably going to do a lot of backtracking and stuff like that. Look at that. Look at all the skill points. Let's actually... Let's switch up our skills. We've used the Ichimanji double. Ichimanji and Ichimanji double for quite a while. Uh, Shadow Rush allows me to... A long-range powerful thrust. And then I use the impaled opponent as a platform to vault into the skies. That sounds absolutely amazing. But then there's also, this I can't get yet, Living Force, uh, I think your sword is on fire or something and you get to, well this, that wouldn't really work here. The Flames of Hatred had begun to manifest. And then here we have Ashina Cross, which I think is what the Ashina Elite guy did, the mini boss we fought who like unsheathed the sword and then like jumped forward and like attacked twice really quickly. Let's get the one that's very obvious, Shadow Rush. Boom. Oh, Master of the Arts. Nice. Got an achievement. Excellent. And I think that's what Emma wanted, too. She wanted us to have one of these final skills. So, let's travel to the Dilapidated Temple first. Because we're going to do some upgrading. Okay. So, we would have to get this. I want to get this. Blocks against fire. Let's get that. Boom. And I can't get this yet, can I? Can I? <gasps> oh, dude. What? Not... What? Why is it unavailable? How come I can't get that? I got both of these. I need this too? Really? Is that true? Because if so, I have no idea how to get that uh, malcontents ring. It's probably a mini boss I missed in the... Uh, valley someplace that's kind of why i wanted to go back through there uh i guess let's get if i could get the shuriken we can okay lazuline upgrade so we need one more scrap iron or two more scrap irons to get that okay let's get that just to i don't know upgrade the axe and because i can we have all this money to spend. Now that we're at the end of the game, you know, we might as well. I ended up buying... Well, Valley Apparitions? I ended up buying this. Three-story Pagoda. I don't know if I showed that. But it... Yeah, it's just exactly what uh, I thought it was. I just told you about Mr. Raven. But this, Valley Apparitions, we're buying that. Okay. Cool. Thanks, buddy. Uh, Valley Apparitions thingy that should be in here someplace. Uh, a note about apparitions in the Sunken Valley. Apparitions have si have been sighted in the Guardian Ape of the Sunken Valley's Old Den. Angry spirits with many faces. The Guardian Ape's Old Den can be found at the bottom of the Sunken Valley, not far from the Forest of Mist. Also, some reported they could hear the sound of a woman crying in the distance. That's probably for the malcontent. It has to be. Okay. Cool. So that's where we fought the headless, the the dual ape fight, I think. 
you know? That was the den. All right, so let's get this axe now. Look at this. We're upgrading almost everything. And we could get this. We might as well. Let's do it. Why not? So what does it even do? Purple fume spark. The addition of fatty wax lumps delays the explosion slightly. Enemies blinded by the blast take slightly more vitality and posture damage for a brief period of time. Huh. So it debuffs them. That's cool. But now we really can't get anything else. It's okay. I mean, look at that. We need so many more materials for any of these. New game plus. Whatever. Okay. We used almost all of our money, too. It's fine. When I inevitably die, I won't feel that bad about losing it then. All right. <laughs> now let's go. We should spend the rest of it on uh, spirit emblems, because we're going to probably use a bunch of those, right? We have a bunch. Look at that. 174 in stock. All right. Now let's travel to Kuro's room. Talk to Emma. All right. Hello, Emma. Do you have that thing for me? What? Mushin esoteric text? A unique text of the legendary Ishina Mushin compound style. Young Ishin would stop at nothing in his lust for power, and this single-minded search for strength ended in him taking Ishina for his own. This is the result of combining techniques from the styles he encountered. This drive defined Ishin's achievements, and as such, this text will never be finished. Mm. Okay. Okay. Well, we have a totally new skill tree now. Speaking of skills, I gotta equip that one. Wait, we do. What the heck, man? Four, we could get... Oh, no. So wait, you have to... Oh. So with this, I will be able to learn Spiral Cloud Passage. A sword technique that unleashes powerful shock waves. Costs spirit emblems to use. What the heck? Are you kidding me? And then we need High Monk, Shadow Fall, uh, an evolution of Shadow Rush. <sighs> Man. Okay. And then there's the Sheena Cross, Empowered Mortal Draw, and then this, Living Force. So we gotta learn all of those. Each one costs like six or seven skill points. And then you get these ultimate skills. Bodhisattva Valley. The watering hole. No. I think it's here. Guardian Apes Burrow. Yeah, right there. We can't teleport to it. Why not? Because there's something there. The one thing that uh, you don't have to worry about in this game is min-maxing and a character build. I used to... If you've ever played Souls games a lot, I'm sure like some of you watching this might know about this, but like, here, where do I go? Where's that thing? Here, uh, but there was the, the Souls or whatever character planner. So you could, you know, pick the, the right character class in the beginning of the game and only put a certain amount of skills or points in each skill just so you don't waste any points per level up oh hey wait oh didn't we oh my god okay so it's one of you all right so we're gonna keep the shuriken on uh because she'll probably jump in the air like the other ones keep this on of course because she's probably the toughest one she probably has one of those laser beams as well. Terror build up stuff, and then this stuff to do crazy damage as fast as we can. So, let me... We're going to go right here. Use this. Use this. Use this. 
And we're gonna go. I can't backstab. Come on, get her good. Oh, of course you are going to do that. Where are you? Over here. Block that thing. I knew immediately that's what she was doing. Okay, she was in the air, but I don't really have a chance to... Whew. Ow! Don't get hit by that. Get up, get up! Where am I? Dude, get up! Alright, good. We got her once. Now, she's gonna disappear again. Yep. Okay. Get unequipped. Or, not unequipped. I can't talk. Get un... <laughs> locked on. <laughs> I still can't talk. Are you doing it again? Stop it. I need to hit, hit you. Okay, she was trying to do it another time. Teleporting again. Okay, I need to use this. And then block. And then Echo Sugar. We're getting this. Getting this right now. Please. Alright, we got this. Just, yeah. You're gonna teleport. No, we got her. Boom. Okay. Malcontent's ring. I knew it. An old ring well suited for slender fingers. Kingfisher is engraved on the underside. Can be used to upgrade the finger whistle prosthetic tool. Wearing this ring as you blow the finger whistle will create a somber tune. The weeping voice is full of solitude and beauty. Possibly somber enough to temporarily quell a voice of rage. Interesting. Okay. Well, we did it. We didn't get a prayer bead for that, though, but that's fine. So, here's the thing. Is there anything new up here? Is, I'm sure that's the, the woman whose voice could be heard. But since we're here, we might as well check a little bit over here. Oh, yeah, we got you. Now, you know what? Are you an apparition? You are. Because you can get wrecked, son. You know what? Ow. No, not me. I don't want to get wrecked. Here, let me heal. We're going to try this. Oh, my God. That was amazing. So that's uh, Spirit Rush. Oh, we missed. You jerk. Boom. This is awesome. That's a good skill. Yes, please. Okay. Well, we got Yashiriko's sugar. Good stuff. Now we're going back this way. Uh, I guess I can unequip that. All this stuff. We have one... Uh, what do you call it? One divine confetti left. That's it. And then I have to start buying them. Uh-oh. So, sparking axe, I guess. Alright, now we can continue ahead a little bit. Perhaps. Nice. Because I know for a fact we don't have the ingredients oops, needed to uh, make that malcontent thing. Here, let me travel there just to check. Oh yeah, we need a lot of stuff. We need one adamantite scrap, two lumps of grave wax, and four lumps of fat wax. Well, and 1,500 sen. Maybe we'll be able to get that stuff? Because it would be nice to get that. Uh, what does it do? Can be used to drive beast mad and to torment apparition type enemies. That would be nice to get before going into New Game Plus. See, I don't know if this game goes directly into New Game Plus after beating it. Anyway, let's travel back to Ashina outskirts. Uh, yeah, let's go. Actually, we're going to travel to Ashina Castle. And yeah, we're going to work our way slowly down instead of jumping down. Well, we'll, we'll try to work our way to the next... Uh, Idol. Sculptor's Idol. Alright. Because I think we probably... Skipped a lot of stuff. Um, wait, what? Didn't this used to lead outside or something? 
I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Anyway, so we could go out that window. I think that's the only window we could go out. Or can we go out this one, too? We can't go out this one. All right. And then back here is just nothing. There was just an item back here. I forgot what that was. All right. Whatever. See you later, Emma. Peace off. Now. Woo. That was... Framey, framey. It, it is very framey around here. Tends to be. Because of, like... This is, like, the central area and all the other areas. Like, that's Sempo over there. You can see those trees. Anyway, so... I want to work my way down. Oh, hey. Yeah. Wow, there's night jar. Oh, see, there's items everywhere. I want to try to get everything. And I want to go in that window... To go lower away. Oh, we could... Let's try going this way. Wait, where is... We gotta go around this side. Back into Ishin's room. Oh, hey. Um, do we want to fall? I guess we could. Here, hang on. No, don't fall all the way down. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I want to just go over here. Everyone's dead. All the night jar. But isn't this Ishin's room over here someplace? Or is he on the other side? I keep forgetting where. I'm getting confused. I think he is on the other side. The door into the lower part of the castle is over here. Oh my god. What the heck was that, man? I pressed the button. Oh, well, there's an item down here anyway. We might as well jump off. Might as well get it. Antidote. Yeah, we're going to have a few more episodes of this. I don't want to just rush to the end. I want to be thorough in this area, you know? So we're going to play the rest of this game the way that I've been playing it the whole time through, basically. And that's... Uh, By going through an area and then, you know, the initial time and then going back through the area. Scrap Magnetite. I don't think I needed that, but it's good to have it. Anyway, going back through the area afterwards. More thoroughly searching things. We gotta get up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? I'm trying to get the Ishins, or I guess we could go in here. Whatever. Let's rediscover this. I'm sure there's going to be guys in here. Ishins is right there on the other side. I think. I'm, I get turned around on the rooftops for some reason. Oh, hey. Please don't see me. I hate these guys. <laughs> Truly hate them. Three scrap magnetites. Okay. Oh, so there's a battle. Yeah, let's get... Let's take advantage of this and get all the drops we can. Uh, we're just going to watch what happens. I'm pretty sure the ninjas are going to win. Maybe. Most, yeah. I don't know. It's pretty evenly matched. Well, that guy's about to die. And as soon as he dies... Oh, now you're poisoned. Yeah, get out of here. You're mine. Woo! Don't jump all the way down. Don't do that either. You're a jerk. There's another one that just showed up, I think. Take that. You're dead. Yeah. Don't team up on him. He's... Where's your... Oh, crap. Now they're going to team up on me. Wait, is this one a special one? Hang on. <laughs> you know what? I have... You want to throw shuriken at me? Oh, you blocked it, huh? 
take that. Ow. Oh my god, what happened there? I have no idea what I just did. Oh, you have the... No, oh, get out of here. Get, let me... Yeah, you know what? Vile hand. Oops, well, take that. Oh, you want to do that? Take that. I think that's what I did while fighting the other guy. So they're easier now because I am on their level. <laughs> I'm more on their level than I was previously. So we're going to backtrack through this entire area. And uh, this might be a long episode because I want to kind of... We should be ending it now, maybe, I think. But I want to progress decently. Pellets. We have we still have tons of items. I haven't used a lot of them. We go down here. Oh. This is a mini boss. I bet. Alright. Um. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's totally a mini-boss. That's awesome. Wait, does he have red eyes? Oh, crap. I think he has red eyes. Okay, hang on a sec. So, that's going to suck. He's going to do a lot of damage, I bet. Um, So, we should probably use Ungo Sugar. No, let's use... Yeah, we'll use Ungo Sugar. And what else? Should we use Red Eyes too? But then we can't resurrect. No, that's a bad idea. Let's set him on fire. Fire! Red Eyes don't like fire. Yes. Red Eyes do not like fire. So this purple fume spark. We'll equip that. And then fire. Lots of fire. Where's the fire? Yes. Okay. He's gonna... Oh, crap. Hang on. I want to listen to what he had to say. You running over here? Here. Alright, good. <laughs> I think this guy's gonna be tough. Hopefully I can still listen to him. Yes. Please? Mm. See, the thing that I don't get is I should be on their side. Why am I fighting both the interior ministry, like the main forces of Japan, and also Ashina? Now, I should be on Ashina's side. Anyway, so... He's gonna totally turn around. No, he's not. He does have red eyes, though. Okay. Ow! Get away, he does a lot of damage. <laughs> oh my god, he just murdered my face. <laughs> I'm trying to run. He's like, don't run. Don't run. You can't run. There's no running. So that didn't really... Okay. Oh, that did not work. Okay. I'm gonna heal again. Man, get the timing down, dude. I can't get the timing down. He's really fast. I blocked like a split second too late. And once he hits you once, you're just dead. All right. Get you once. And then we're gonna set him on fire. All right, cool. And then 
You know what we're going to do? We're going to switch this out for this. He's probably going to block all of them, but... Okay. We missed. Oh, we did get him, and he's scared. Okay. Okay, do not... Ow. He just one-shot me. You know? Man, we might be here for a while. Don't hit me. Thing with that, it, it freezes me too. Okay, hang on. Let me, oh, and it, it goes right through my guard. I see that now. That's why I was dying. Hang on. I'm gonna heal, I'm gonna keep healing. Did we, oh, it didn't. All right. I need to heal again. We got him. Woo. He's scary though. Wow. Prayer bead. We got it. Yes. That's all I wanted. Now, the thing is, is I'm wondering if I've missed any mini bosses. All right. So we can just go up here and then back up. That's all for today. I'm satisfied now. It's time to end it anyway. So next time we're going to, I guess, travel back down. Like I still want to, we didn't, like we obviously, we missed that mini boss. There, how many more did we miss? Maybe there's, can I get up there please? Oh wait, where is it? Maybe there's more we missed, you know? Because I think there's probably 10 uh, prayer bead necklaces. That was my ninth. So... We have two skill points. Good. Yes. Okay, so ninth... Yeah, ninth prayer necklace. Uh, a prayer bead necklace befits the strong. Robert's father came from afar across seas to the south in search of the undying. Repelling a thousand blades was a small price for the blessing of rejuvenation. Who is Robert? Who is Robert? We still don't know who Robert is. But yeah, that guy, Robert's father was the armored guy who we knocked off the bridge. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. I don't know. I have a theory that it's going to turn out. I'm, I don't know about this, though, but. Somebody, obviously, there's lore talking about Robert. Robert's firecrackers, Robert's father. Robert must be an important figure. And I bet, I bet, since we don't know our, our own parents, maybe, maybe I'm Robert. Maybe the player character is Robert. I don't know, though. Anyway. Hopefully we find out. Maybe we find out on the 10th prayer necklace. So we got four more mini bosses to find, maybe, before we end this. All right. Well, see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.